back to the zombie host. We've got another crappy. <laughs> another crappy pasta for you. It's gonna be pretty sick, so let's just jump right in. This one's called the figure. The figure. Scary. Spooks. Spoops and toops. October 15th, 2012. 9 12 p.m. Dum. Write about a time in your life when you were most scared. That's the assignment I got. That's when my life seemed to change. In the bathroom and Rob <clears throat> came in and looked at me when I was in the. Oh, sorry. Not your actual journal entries. This is the story. Yep. Okay. Thought it was asking me. Yeah. No. About no. No. It was January first, two thousand twelve. And my L.A. teacher decided to keep us late that day because, well, let's face it, our group wasn't the most prepared nor the most friendly. Anyway, I decided to write about a little experience of me taking my first step into the new hallowed forest near my house. I lived in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, whatever that other fucking is. Edmonton, 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 Canada. <clears throat> Canada. Who Canada. fucking cares? Who fucking cares? It's Canada. It's Canada. No one Canada. gives a shit. No one, gives a shit about no one fucking cares go, about go, go, Canada. Canada. No, no one cares how you pronounce Canada. your fucking name. Canada. We don't care if it's Canada. Yeah, is it Canada? Oh, welcome to Canada. Welcome to Canada. Well, welcome to Canada. No We've got the Volkswagen and the fucking Canada. Oh, yeah, no one fucking cares. No one cares. And honestly, if I had known what I now know now, what you are about to read would have never happened, but it did. It was a brisk October day and I was wearing my favorite sweater, the one my girlfriend gave to me. It was so warm and comfy. Warm. I was supposed to go to school, but no high school kid wants to. And I decided to be daring and skip the day. What a freaking disaster that was, but you'll read about that. Anyways, I left my house like I did every morning, hugging my mom and pushing my brother around as we walked. <clears throat> that seemed a little aggressive. Just more pushing, pushing. Oh, sorry. Gentle pushing. Push it in. Push it right in. He was a preppy. He wouldn't have ever thought of doing what I wanted to. Even if he tried, he would have been caught. Ha <laughs> ha! He wasn't good at all at skipping. Neither was I, but at least I had the guts to try. And maybe he really was smarter than he looked, which I found hard to believe, but whatever. I'm <clears> smart. <throat> That's not what I'm writing this about. Why the fuck did you have to? He had kept walking and I, uh, I, I walked into the forest. I saw a man, a tall, slender, oh God. <clears throat> Is this where this is going? Is it Slender Man? No, wait, it was a silhouette of a man. And as I looked at him, it's like his body sprouted tentacles and my vision well became fuzzy. Like when your favorite TV station goes down, but the scary part, the trees around me didn't go fuzzy, just him. Just, yep. I tried to just stand something. up and run, but I couldn't. I could barely move. I pulled the pocket knife out of my pocket and held it up at him. He started to come closer, and his tentacles seemed to thrash or trash about. Trash about. They didn't thrash, they trashed about. <clears throat> right, we've got... Trashing about. Just dude. trashing about. Like wind in the grass or waves on a beach and tentacles. The tentacles were rolling and crashing, almost trying to grab me on their own. It was a brisk October day and I was wearing my favorite sweater. The one my girlfriend, the one my... Did I... I already wrote that. Huh. Damn it. His face, his face. Journal entry. Oh my god! Oh. He had no face! It's covered in white. I drew a little sketch of what he looked like. <clears throat> Nothing, no sketch was included. No? I'm Even sure we all know exactly what he looks right, like. Right, yeah, I think. Even looking his picture scares the hell out of me. Oh, hell. Anyway, how the skipping wins so terribly wrong? Mm. I told my mom about the figure. Sure, I'm grounded now for skipping, but she won't believe me. Mm. She's saying it's a figment of my imagination. It's, it's not. It's a ripoff. There have been sighting of this guy worldwide, but the weird part? He normally doesn't go after 15 year olds. In his stories, uh, if read online, he toys with his prey, stalking them until the moment is right to end the game. But I didn't find anything pertaining to his existence. Nothing. So why is he coming after me? Why is he coming after Who the hell knows? Anyway, I have no more time to write this entry today. My mom's coming up. October 17th, 2012, 11.51 p.m. Did you end on a date? 
and no, that there's nothing else. Did you end on the date? I figured that whole thing was one date. Why'd you why'd you close out on two days later? It was a waste of my fucking time, bro. A waste of my fucking time. Oh god, you're not no. Yeah, yeah, I am. <sighs> waste of my fucking time, bro, bro. Bro, bro. <clears throat> I'm, I can't. You're wasting my fucking time. I can't. Wasting my fucking time, bro. I wasting can't. Wasting my fucking time. This shit is wasting my fucking time, bro. I'm done. I'm done. All right. I'm done. Fine. I'm just like that guy in the YouTube comment says. You know what? I'm scrapped. Scrap. I'm scrapped. Get scrapped. Scrappy dap. Get scrapped. Scrap dap while I'm rapping in a trap house. Oh shit, son. That's right. You're sleeping party in a frat house. Oh girl. Yeah. That's like, right. you look at my tail, I look like a rat, but I'm a mouse. Oh, shit. I sprout sauerkraut. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>